I am in my kitchen counter. We are moving, so I have all my stuff packed away, but I'm going to have very little supplies to make my page. Basically gray, blue, and yellow. And since I have my glitter over here, I'm going to try to do something with it. And a pencil plus a marker. So, with my pencil, I'm going to start creating some flowers. I'm thinking of sunflowers, not just any flower. <laughs> So I'm going to be drawing, I am in a completely different uh, environment than my usual so I'm kind of lost. I will probably will be moving the camera in a bit so you can see more like from above what I'm doing. But as for now, I'm just thinking of having three flowers. I don't even know if it is showing, but I'll show you in a minute. This is just a slight guide so I know where I'm going, but I'm going to be putting a lot more stuff in different sizes of and textures of, of the petals and stuff for the colors. I'm going to put my yellow over here although I'm going to start with the gray and blue <clears throat> okay I need some water and um, I will start just spreading my color in the background. This book is for mixed media which means that it holds a lot of fluid paint not only pencil and, and dry media but the the more wet media so if you go with acrylics watercolors or crayons that are water soluble you'll be fine so I'm going to start by making this over here just loosely shaping my petals over here and with a lot of water If you work fast enough, you can have the same kind of colors. If you work too slow, you're going to have the lines that will show where you started and when you ended. Okay, I put my protection down here and I also found more other colors which I am terrible because I'm supposed to be packing and here I am I'm packing again <laughs> but however I have orange pink and purple I will spread a little purple here in a minute and the other colors are for the rest of the page so anyway here we go And I'm not going to remove the pencil marks because it's part of 
the simple look that I'm trying to do here in this page. Anybody can make this type of flower, even people that rarely paint or have never tried a flower. And there is a lot of charm in the signs that show the steps. I like it a lot myself. When you find the visual traces of all the steps in a painting. It's a lot of fun to see the the layers of different stages of the painting of your page or in a canvas. Okay, now we're going to go with the orange, which that was a lot. So I'm going to get some water and mix it with some of the yellow so it's not too crazy. But anyway. You don't have to be careful, but you have to have fun. Okay, and we're going to put a darker and much wetter layer over here. And with the blue, we're going to make a secondary color that is going to be a brown kind of gray and it's going to be whoops is going to be the center of our, of all my goodness, the center of our sunflowers. I'll show you the mix over here. The blue and the orange mix this rich brown with some gray in it if you put more blue than other color than the orange okay so this is where we are so far and I'm going to sit you back in here on the counter and I will pick up all the paint tubes that I've been knocking down. <laughs> I am lucky they were closed. Okay, I'm going to finish some of these other little areas over here. Mostly just so that I don't have any any um, white areas. And now with this purple in a lot of water I am going to add a little bit of more color to my gray so much for a small palette right but I love color and if you see I'm just mopping it around in a crazy fashion I'm not even paying attention 
I just want a little almost transparent layer and maybe I'll put some little patches here and there of a little more um, undiluted color mainly for contrast not other reason than that and to give more interest into the gray which in itself is a pretty color but when it has some extra little variations it looks extra pretty alright I'm going to let it dry for a little bit you can barely see the purple but it's there okay I will have some texture on the center of the flowers um, I'm thinking of using my pink but I want to wait so it will not mix with the rest of the color in the back so I will be bringing it back in a couple of minutes since I already have this purple outside I was thinking maybe I can make I'll do it in this one so you can see a little better some kind of texture and I'm liking it so I'm going to do it in all of them okay time to add the pink which I am going to be smearing with either my finger or a napkin through through the stencil here so if you see I'm making my napkin wet and making you dizzy and then I'm going to apply with my stencil just a, a here and there and see how pretty it looks I'm not sure this light is helping me but it looks very pretty in person okay you can add white and black and curly cues and maybe some quote over here but thank you very much for watching and uh, if this is the first time you're visiting make sure that you click over here in the little button that says subscribe thank you very much and talk to you later bye bye